Hey on Zev here, welcome to Escaping Wonderland Overview. Quite a throwback actually, because the prequel to this game was one of my first playthroughs on the channel ever. And it seems like it's been 4 years in between this one and the other. So it's just nice getting back to roots and I don't think it has to be a question if I'll be playing this more. So, Escaping Wonderland is a diorama adventure puzzle game where we're going headfirst into another journey in the Wonderland in cooperation with ever curious Molly that just went down the rabbit hole and recover her memories to find out what have happened. It's hard to tell if I can treat this as a direct sequel, though most of the similarities are quite direct, I mean I don't want to say copied cause you can only do so much in the Alice in the Wonderland setting to not repeat yourself. It's another adventure of a girl that fell down the hole and pursues her escape there all while meeting familiar faces. I think the game in the series perspective was definitely upgraded with more intimate interactions that involves you in the story and puzzles in between. I also feel like the movement freedom is quite different, meaning you can get on close and personal to see the details in spaces and observe every nook and cranny, though with that the closer you get, the more blurry and basic textures look, which the best example is shown when the game switches to the first person mode. I feel like for that to work best, you'd have to have some kind of visual enhancement going on, switching in between the modes, to make it more pleasant for the eyes, because from far away it seems all fine. But then in any other situation, you're kinda just exposing your lack of attention to detail. With that being said, you feel part of the world and the whole spiral perspective works really well in VR, just as before. And I'm still not totally sure about the story, cause I'm not connecting with it as much as with the prequel. But I think I would have to play more, which will do with the dialogues and comedy. It's all fine, so all across the board, a solid release, which I'm not totally surprised coming from that studio. Let's go enter the Wonderland! Ever wonder where you'd land if you fell so deep into sleep down the rabbit hole of your dreams to a place beyond imagination and beneath the subconscious where the very fabric of reality unravels? Our story begins with Molly. You see, life had kicked her around, and now she found herself falling down a dark and endless hole. She should be here any minute now. Ouch! Gotta work on that landing. What the? Where did I? Hello there! But where'd you come from, little girl? Um... I fell down. From... I don't actually know. Where am I? If I squint my eyes, I, I feel like I recognize that face. Come up to my burrow so I can have a closer look at you. I'll put the kettle on. Yeah, this is normal. At the bottom of a dark hole. And a talking mole just invited me over for tea. Maybe I could grab one of those roots and climb. Although she couldn't use the roots to climb, they did help her get a better look at them. Now, try grabbing two at the same time. Yeah, but I'm wondering, is it the same character from the prequel? I don't think so. The story kind of finished with her, so... I think now we have like a new chapter going on. In terms of graphics, very decent. Maybe the detail is not like enormous, but the scale is definitely way bigger than before. And it's the classic down rabbit hole thing with environment all around you and it's just gonna go everywhere. So I'm excited. <laughs> 
very good. We're all rooting for you, Molly. But at this point, I'm not playing on my bed. So physically, I can't just turn around now. <laughs> I don't know where I'll be in the camera, so whatever. How will I get across? It is indeed a pressing issue. Oh, but I can't go up and down in real life, so <laughs> this was this. Right. Hmm. Huh. What's that thing up there? The girl couldn't reach the object by herself. Maybe you could offer a helping hand? Some kind of picture. She thought she better keep it safe. I suppose I should start writing some of this down, in case I forget. In the previous game, those collectibles were important because they unlocked different endings, so... Of course, we'll do a playthrough if things will go horribly wrong, then no. But I'll be looking over for that, because potentially... It could be important. Huh. I guess the only way to go is up. The only way to go is up. A reassuring thought when you've just hit rock bottom. And soon Molly came up to the welcoming doorstep of a cozy burrow. <laughs> I like that you can just go all in personal now. I'll keep this in my journal. It's gonna be very trippy later on to look what we passed. Mr. Mole. So Mole is his actual surname? And Mr. his first name? Sounds like something a kid would make up. Well, I guess you're a teenager, so... Ah, oh, you're here! Come in! Come in! <laughs> They're so easy to find now. I have to remember this for later. I wonder if it will be important. Now, let's have a look at you. Hmm, I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Oh, I'm blind without them. <laughs> would you help me look? Of course. Oh my god, the oven's smiling. I wonder what's up here. Oh, the glasses. These must be the most glasses. Okay, whatever she is. Ah, oh, you found my glasses. Ah, oh, spectacular. Now, let's see it. Just as I thought. It's you. Dear Molly. Oh, you're finally back in Underland. Wait, do you know me? Well, of course I know you. You used to come here all the time when you were younger. Well, we went on all sorts of adventures together. You really don't recognize your old pal, Mr. Mole? That is so trippy. But so cool. But again, the level of detail... I feel like it should be better when you go in the first person mode. But it's just details. I guess there's something familiar about you, about all of this, but it's like a dream I've forgotten. Well, I guess I made less of an impression than I thought. Hmm, you must have banged your head pretty hard. And, and you don't remember how you got it. Beats me. 
It's almost like Underland pulled you down. Oh, strange. Maybe if we go on one of our adventures, it will all come back to you. An adventure? I'm not sure if I'm cut out for something like that. I'd probably just screw it up. You're saying no to an adventure? Well, that's not a Molly I used to know. I appreciate the offer, but could you just tell me how to get out of this place? Well, if you're in such a hurry to leave, I won't keep you. But the door back to your world has been closed for ages. I will need to get the old under engine up and running. And that engine won't run without a power plant to fuel it. Are those man hands? Or am I crazy? <laughs> Plant. Should I get my hazmat suit? No, no, no. This power plant is completely organic. The under engine is fueled by a special kind of weed called willpower plant. But I hid it away for safekeeping. In a place so clever that uh, not even I can find it. You mean you lost it? No, no, no. I, uh, I hid it. I just uh, can't remember where. Uh, go check in the storage room. I might have lost... Uh, I mean, hid the power plant back there. Uh, when you found it, take the elevator up to the machine room. Wait, where are you going? I'll wait for you in the machine room. I know we can also do that, whatever. Cards? It's also gonna be me just looking around the corners. Cause they're not gonna be that easy to find, I feel like. Left all alone in this strange place, the girl was overcome with a feeling of... We are choosing our own narrative. None really fit. That's right. The girl was overcome with loneliness, abandoned in this cold, dark place, with nobody to keep her company but her own spiraling thoughts. Jeez, so grim. <laughs> what kind of fairy tale is this anyway? <laughs> I need to find that willpower plant before I take the elevator. Float like a butterfly. Sting like the realization that we're all truly alone in the world. Jesus. Oh. In case we get stuck, I suppose. We have to remember the good times and the bad. Mr. Mole really left these all over the place. <laughs> Was it another collectible? Yeah, like, see? The textures are really bland when you go close in personal, but from far away it's fine. However, we have this mode, so. It is what it is. What's the main pipe? Oh, we can have multiples. What about the rest? Oh yeah, they have colors. I mean, that's cute. I don't think we can, like, overlap them, though.
there are multiple ways of solving this, which I appreciate. It's all due to the creativity. Yeah, that was very nice. Interactivity between you and the environment is always a good idea. What did she say? Now that we solved it. That's fine to add if there are problems. I see the willpower plan up there. We just had to put it on the highest shelf. We got everything. Oh, except for this. So it's not only pieces of paper. It's also for personal interactivity. It has it all. A cassette tape. I'll keep it with my journal. That's all. We'll see. I'm just like interested by that. <laughs> this ladder's broken. I have to find another way. Levers affect the ladders. I think they will keep them in place. Yeah, that should do the trick. Well, not completely. Is there a way out from there? Oh, what the? It's kind of weird to see her being big in this world. It's just coming from the prequel experience. made the girl feel a bit less lonely. And she even felt excited as she headed back to the elevator to meet Mr. Mole in the machine room. 
Why would some old plant make me feel better? Plants are actually proven to help reduce stress. Well, I don't think self-medication is a great idea. I'm, of course, talking about owning house plants. If you say so. How old are you, lady? To know this stuff. <laughs> Okay. Where the hell am I in my space? You found the willpower plant. Great work, Molly. It's growing. I feel stronger already. Oh, no, 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 no! The machine is broken! Malfunctioning! Completely kaput! It seems to be missing its four most vital parts. I see three. Can you fix it? Maybe try turning it off and on again? There's no fixing this with bolts and screws. Those machine parts are completely irreplaceable and hold immense power. The heart valve, the iron compass, and the quantum ring, and the steam governor. Somebody must have stolen them. And you're sure you didn't lose them? I'm not the one with amnesia here. The other night, I woke up and heard a bunch of clanking and banging, and I saw someone running off. But I didn't think much of it then, but that must have been the thief. What did this thief look like? I didn't get a good look at a crook. No, I wasn't wearing my glasses. All I saw was a flap in her wings before he hurried off towards the old diamond mine. Come to think of it, it must have been the engine overloading that pulled you down into Underland. So this thief is the reason I'm stuck down here? I'm really sorry, Molly. Without those machine parts, you'll be stuck here forever. At least I'm not alone, right? If we work together, I'm sure we can fix this. How about I take a look in the diamond mine and ask around for a thief with wings? See if I can't solve this mystery. That sounds more like the Molly I know. Hey, take the elevator up to the mine. If you can find this winged thief and get the machine parts back, we'll be able to send you home. Okay, here I go. Into a dark mine to catch a dangerous thief with wings. I guess I'm going on an adventure after all. Well, I go as well. <laughs> Personally, I love this. Coming from the prequel, this is a nice upgrade. I'm not really sure in terms of the graphics if it is, because from far away, when you look at environments, they're fine. But then when you switch to the first person mode, there is blurriness going on and not that much detail. I would appreciate if between switching modes, there will be some kind of enhancement going on but overall it's a good old game in the down the rabbit hole series and i kind of feel like story wise the predecessor was more personal and engaging this is nice but i'm feeling some kind of disconnect between me and the story the dialogue is definitely better and interactivity enhanced all the way so it might be just a little bit of knack for me. Regardless, we're gonna continue like with the good old times and it's nice to be back. 